Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Pillars of Eternity 2. Where we left off last time, we had hunted down a fanatic, saved Edir's possible son. Unfortunately the love of his life is gone. We're going to go back and talk to the Soul Seekers, kind of because I want to see what's going on with them. We haven't talked to them for a while. Hope you're keeping busy, Watcher. We're still running some small tests. Oh. Not quite ready for the real thing. That's just kind of disappointing. What can I do for you? Oh, nothing then, I guess. We'll talk to a couple of these people. A steady white-haired elf frowns down at the table covered in coiled copper wires and glimmering shards of Adra. Her gloved hands smooth her well-tailored veiling cloak as she mumbles under her breath. Apparently absorbed in her work, the Animancer doesn't acknowledge your presence. Hey. The woman spins on you, blinking rapidly behind a pair of brass-rimmed spectacles. Her bright carmine eyes and paperweight skin mark her as one, as one of the Glem felon. What is carmine? You know? Let's do a little bit of research today. Alright, I took I disabled Steam overlay. Carmine. Carmine means Crimson Lake or Carmine Lake. What the hell? Carmine color? Carmine is sort of a reddish color. It's a deep red. Cool. Alright, good to know. I didn't know that. Hello. My apologies. I didn't see you there. Her Adirin bears a clear, crisp, but difficult to place accent. The pale elf examines you warily, unease clear in the set of her shoulders. You alright? I am fine. Is there some reason I shouldn't be? One of her pale eyebrows arches. I close my window. There we go. No more distractions. She tugs at the gloves and looks away from you. Calm settles about her like a burial shroud. Which is not to say I do not appreciate your concern. I do. Okay. She settles her spectacles on her nose. As she does so, you notice her hand shaking. I, like the other scholars here, am engaged in the study of the soul sciences. Was there something you needed, or may I return to my studies? Her thin lips settle into a crooked smile. As she speaks, a drop of blood rolls out of the elf's nose and drips onto her lips. She pulls a handkerchief from her coat pocket and wipes away the blood without a word. You're bleeding. Indeed. I apologize if you find the sight of blood unsettling. Though, from your appearance, I would expect you to be well acquainted with it. Hey, that's... judgmental. In any case, why are you here? Your accent isn't Valian, why are you dressed like one? Just a bit of culture I've picked up along the way. Her clothing is spotless and well tailored, in the old Valian style, replete with lace, silk velvet, and brocade. I admire their tailoring tradition immensely. It's much grander than clothing one finds in The White That Wends. As she straightens the cuff of her jerkin, a small look of satisfaction flits across her face. It's marvelous. Who's your tailor? I am, of course. Oh. She puts her hand on her hips and straightens her back. You're an animancer and a seamstress? A curious mind is an agile mind. Besides, the two practices are more alike than one might think. I find that hard to believe. Both deal in the details in the warp and the weft. A delicate hand is required if one is to bend either to one's will. How'd you come to be in Nekataka? It is a mundane story. I sought out the ship with the longest overseas route departing from the Republics and booked passage. I had intended to perform a handful of experiments regarding the nature of souls that could only be done safely at sea. What kind of experiments can only be performed on a boat? The sensitive kind. She brushes your question aside with a wave of her hand. My experiments were successful, and the ship eventually reached its destination. The rest is inconsequential. She brushes your question aside with a wave of her hand again. Stop dancing around my questions, tell me what's going on. If... if you insist. She takes a step back at your sudden request and lowers and clears her throat. With the aid of a device of copper and Audra, I have uncoupled my soul from my body, freeing myself of Barith's wheel. Damn. I belong only to myself now. Pride girds her voice. I commend your dedication to your craft. You... do? She shakes her head, brows drawn. Perhaps you would be amenable to me traveling with you, on something of a permanent basis? Sure, why not? Truly? Yeah. Whoa. You sure about that? I am. Thaklaut, traveler. That's not a real I word. Grateful. It's an expression of gratitude in Ordjoma. Ordioma? I don't know. She clasps her hand in hers, pumps it quickly, and releases. After a quick pack down of her various pockets sewn into her coat, Edwin nods sharply and rests a hand on the hilt of her rapier. I have all that I need. You may depart at your leisure. Her lips curl into a coy little smile, and she says no more. She is a cypher or rogue or safer rogue, and cypher rogues can be ruthlessly brutal. So we're gonna go mind stalker. 
but she's not going to be in our group right away because we have too many people in our group currently as it is. I'm pretty happy with our current group situation. Who's Cademan Ozo Azo? Watcher, what a surprise to see you again. Beneath a familiar pointed nose, Cademan Azo's grin achieves a careful balance between polite and sneering. His once round face has grown gaunter since you last saw him. If the rioters in Defiance Bay knew he was here, they'd be on the next boat to Deadfire with a cargo of rope and torches. I see we've all moved up in the world, haven't we? Yeah. I assume you're here to raise the tower. <laughs> no? Smash the machines then? Relieve yourself all over the diagrams? Um, don't tell me they were stupid enough to put you in charge. Regrettably, no. That honor goes to Flauna Elette, a charming young woman. Perhaps not as experienced as I. But I understand that the Sangreta Mea Compressa is more comfortable with their own people in charge. We do fine work here. Not as personally fulfilling as my time in the sanitarium, but exciting in its way. The Huana have a much more forward-thinking stance on the sciences, so it's easier to find volunteers. Of which you are the latest, I hear. I look forward to working with you. I'll be watching you. Do so. You may just learn something. Kid Ben turns away with a final half-hearted wave of dismissal. Oh, that guy. He was from Pillars of Eternity 1. He ran a sanatorium in... The main city, uh, where he basically made people insane. He didn't really help a whole lot of people. Is that... I think he made, like, no, was it... Did he make Adra Golems? No, I don't think that was him. That was somebody different. Anyways, we're gonna go up to the palace now. It's time to go meet up with the queen. She wants to thank us for going to Hasongo. Maybe we'll grab some experience. Maybe we'll hit a level. That'd be nice. Eventually, one of these days, I'm just gonna go around to all the major towns and go to all the vendors. And, uh, pick up some of the unique items lying around that we haven't picked up that are like $30,000 each. Because we have lots of money now. And we'll have even more once I sell all the junk in our inventory. Where? Palace? Let's just go to the palace. Serpent's Crown is where we are headed currently. So pretty. Anyways, where would the Empress be? I'm hoping on her throne, otherwise we have to go up to the gardens. Damn it. Alright, fine. We're going. Is there a better way up? No. Where are we going? That's a long way to go up the stairs. There's also some on the other side, but I think you have to go around that way too. Also, Maya wants to talk to us. We'll talk to her as soon as we get upstairs. All right, Maya. You have my undivided attention, as always. I want to speak with Ashiza. I'll give you two lovebirds some room to chat. Shaking her head and wearing a grin, Maya gestures for you to have on. I guess that's it. I hope that I've got questions. some answers. Just out of curiosity, what does Ashiza like to eat? Trying to get on his good side, are you? Maya nods amused. Oh, he's developed a taste for shark meat since we arrived at the dead fire. I wonder what shark tastes like. Going back to the Rawatai diet will be hard on us both. She sighs and plants her hands on her hips. Okay. You didn't really want to talk about anything in particular then, you just had a weird... You must gather your party before moment where I need to talk to your bird. I don't know why exactly. Queen Onikaza 2. My scouts tell me that you sail from Oriokoiki. The queen raises her brow. My brother calls the Wahaki the last true Huana. He's severe on the Kahanga. But I do not call him wrong. Anakaza thumbs her chin and nods. They say you fought a detachment of warriors on Motare Okozi. Then you have seen their fury firsthand. The tribe hates all foreigners. Passing ships are attacked on sight, and explorers never make it back to the beach. I like them already. I have hesitated to let the trading company see my teeth, but those days are behind us. Filling the seas with Wahaki war canoes will strike terror in the heart of even Rawatai's Iron Fleet. Anakaza smirks at the idea. Are we still pitting cannons against canoes, Highness? Maya glances up from furiously scribbling notes, her brow raised. Cannons exhaust themselves after every battle cry. My warriors do not. 
I will make contact with the Oaxaki and hope for the best. Sail for the Isle of Oriokoiki and return when you have an answer from the tribe, whether fair or foul. The island lies northwest of Nekataka. There is a phrase which will protect my royal herald. I think I killed them all. Over crumbling mountains, across blighted seas. If you remember this, it could save your life. Anakaza dismisses you with a nod. I'll remember that. Write it down if you must, but recall it when the time comes. The Wahaki are not a trusting people. Anakaza nods and dismisses you with a wave. I'm pretty sure that I killed that tribe. I'm like 90% sure I killed that tribe. Those are the ones just north, yeah, in the Northwest Island. The ones that were becoming slaves? You ever long for the simple life, soldier? Right, I can't go out this way. Alright, how do I get down? Oh, there's a circus. Stupid building with its weird staircases. We didn't get a level out of that either. What quests do we even have to do at this point, other than go for Aethus? We have a bounty. Where's Barati? Serpent's crown. Oh, Barati, upper floor of the palace. So that's where we currently are. Barati? My brothers and sisters have set sail for there you are. I The belly of the great eel roars with hunger. Will you help Barati to calm it? He breathes heavily and stares under a furrowed brow. We did the thing. Yeah. And the seas grow quiet while Tangaloa grows fat on outsider meat. Ratty sighs heavily and passes you your payment. We also have dealt with Rafik. Rafik, the red beard. But the Principe he captain outpaces even the gods. Rafik sinks one of ships for joy and plunder. This cannot stand. We did that too. Tangaloa relishes any good meal. But I say justice makes for a savory dish. We got another payment. You served up a mighty feast, and the great eel's belly swells. Oh, that's it. For a time. Until it hungers again, Barati's work is done. Barati inclines his head and says no more. A couple people gained a level, but not everybody. Athletics? Streetwise. We still are only at level 8 abilities. We can't get level 9s yet, but we do we get discipline whenever we're critically hit we could get maximum discipline increased increase the amount of damage by critical hits that might be really nice or spell resistance resist a hostile spell we're just straight up more deflection but for deflection is not worth a talent point or whatever you want to call these passive abilities I guess I guess spell resistance for now. Let's keep him alive longer. A greater storm surrounds this. Athletics, intimidate. Alright, what can we do? We can get improved criticals for ourselves. We can get hastening exhortation, which we're definitely not going to get. We get glorious beacon, we could get abjuration. Or we can go do a cipher thing. Our cipher abilities, we got disintegrate, which is amazing. We should get some penetration for that's just plus one though. Plus one is not a huge amount of penetration. Longer distances, reduces time for spell casting, that might be good. We could just get straight up health too. Although I think we should get critical hits, because we do a lot of damage with crits. And if we hit things for like 200 damage, can't go wrong with that. Religion and alchemy. And she gets another spell, or... More empowers. Or... What else can we do? Weapon summoning. Creature summoning. Critical hits. Range might be really good, actually. Yeah, let's get better range for our spells. Yeah. Bar casting. We're level 17 now, by the way. We're so close to hitting max level. First, 
The green god will surely do it for them. I still can't believe the other two didn't gain a level. They're like 500 experience away. Other quests, what else do we have to do? We killed all the bounties. Quaro. We need to go to Dunnage. Way, my love. We've killed like all the bounties in the game, basically. So we should just probably go turn them in. We've been systematically eliminating every single person in the world. Eh, that's a way out. Wait, 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 wait everyone. Sure dangerous. Let's go. Fun as hell. Let's go to Dunnage. Maybe we can um go talk to. Set a whole row of oh, what's his name? On fire. Fernandez. Fernando? Ferrande? I think it starts with an F. Ferrante. Ferrante. I think it's Ferrante, isn't it? I cannot remember his name for the life of me. The prince should be leader. We'll go talk to him. I want to see if we can uh, do the rest of the ghost ship quest. Because I kind of want to see how that goes. Oh, we have food and water ish. Can we buy a ton of food? I thought I bought like a hundred billion fruit or something. Tar loaf, yeah. There we go. And I bought something else too some liquid. Ale. There. Now I have lots of food and water for pretty much ever. Nobody should whine about their water amounts. Oh, we're gonna hit a storm. Shoot. Ah! Turn! Do not sail directly into the storm. That would be silly. Now go to Dunnage. We're fine now. No more storms in our way. I think we've explored pretty much the rest of the world. We haven't explored this corner. Maybe there's something there I don't actually know. There's also some dead fire merchants. And there's Mir Mirlefsen, whatever. Mirlesfen, the truly insane. We haven't fought her yet. We probably should at some point. Our crew's a lot better than it used to be, so... We might be able to take her down. We'll go quickly tend in... That was a really loud shift in sound volume there. It was like nice and quiet, and then quite loud. Udita, I think, What's is the person. Quaro rests in Andra's watery embrace. Well scuttled, then. Blimey, you're keen at this. She clamps down on her pipe and counts out a pouch of coins for you. There's more work in your future. Just what she got? You'll be scuttling a Valian captain next. Rock Stomper Rodul is a mountain dwarf with a penchant for sinking freedom lovers. So you'll be doing me a personal favor scuttling his craft. Adita reignites the bowl of her pipe and says your expression. I already dealt with them. the dead fire waters are short. A pirate hunter is worth ten times its weight in pyres. Udita hefts a sack of coins almost too heavy for her to bear. She sighs at being rid of it and returns her attention to her pipe. Hate to say it, Scuttler, but I'm tapped out. My oh. client's gone awfully quiet, so we're both better off sailing for the next horizon. She clamps Udita on her pipe and sticks out her hand. Pleasure working with you. That's all of our bounties. Man, we are running out of bounties. Did we do this one too? An island in the middle of Magrin's teeth. We have to kill Ernox. We have to go find Mr. Ernox and kill him too. Uh, I think we can just... If we go like this, we can go straight to Balefire Beacon. I want to. I want the ghost ship. In all honesty, I really do. That's what I want. I want that like 110%. Maya discovered something. But what? And where? It went whoosh, but I don't see it. Oh well. Ferrante, I was right. Ado, and how is the sea treating you, Watcher? I got questions. Who better to ask than the first chair and highest rank on the Consuelo, Miss Casitas? Ark, what is it you wish to know? I don't want any of that stuff. Come, let us share a fine conversation. Ark, had good time. I just wanted to know about this boat. Come on, guys. You have my ear, Casita. I don't care about you. I'm disappointed. I want my ghost ship. How do I make that happen? I wonder if we go back to uh, what's her name. She'll be really mad at us for not scuttling the slave trade. I guess we could go find out. We're not that far from Fort Deadlight. Let's go take down Mira the or Mira Lesfin. I have a really hard time with that name for some reason. The truly insane. Let's go kill her. We have a heavily armed warship with decent crew. Ship. 
she has a galleon. Return into port. What are they gonna do? They're running away? Why? Oh, I know what, we're just gonna go straight at them. We'll kill them in close combat. They're firing at us though. That hurt. Board them. There we go. We'll just kill them the old fashioned way with swords, not cannons. Swords, no guns. That is unfortunately a large amount of steel clad. Constructs? Golems? Iron. Oh, they're ironclads. That's not so bad. Okay, I'll go kill the truly insane. Oh good, she's coming to me. She's dead. Why can't I not hit these things? There we go. That was better. Not that bad anymore. There. Everything died. What did we get? Well, we got our Triumph, and some Principe colors, and a cannon, and a Deer Channel gun, and some sweet living iron. Uh, we're gonna take all the coins for ourselves. We also need to put the other people in our group, just briefly to level them up, because they're not as useful with, uh, no levels. We should probably finish this place off. We haven't actually touched this island since last time we got here. This was Crazy People Island, as you may or may not recall. Also, the music has gotten really loud all of a sudden. That battle music was quite, quite loud. Let's go do the delta, and then we'll do the other part. The deep river that flows down from the island's central mountains meets the sea here, expanding into a broad delta. The azure water spreads to the east, remarkably calm and quiet. Gulls hang on the air above the shallows, intermittently diving in pursuit of food. A weathered skiff rests on the shore, and a galleon sets anchor a mile or so off the coast. Fresh footprints in the sand lead to an inlet. Inland, I along the side of the island. I think it's supposed to be inlet. Oh well. You follow the path inland. Unlike the sea, the river's waters churn on their way from the hills. On the far side of the water stands the crumbling ruins of an ancient tower. A huge lake, the river's source, spreads before you, ringed almost entirely by walls of sheer rock. Oops, shoot, I didn't mean to hit a button. Anyways, near the shore you see a group of kith along with an ogre and a nip. Oh right! These are those people. Ahoy there! We're gonna kill them, of course, because why not, but... I remember this part now. The pirate bows low at the waist, his left hand fanning out the tail of his fine Valian cloak. His right hand, however, remains near the grip of his weapon. He straightens his dark eyes holding yours. I'm not one to start a fray. I don't have to, Bon Amico, but I'm very curious as to just what in the name of Wal you're doing here. I take it you don't know who I am. Merla, you're that watcher from the Reach, aren't you? The one making good with the Principe. Yes. Still, the question requires asking and answering alike. Why are you here? I'll be taking that, and you're going to let me, unless you want to add a few new holes. No need to spoil this little chat with coercion. Renetti raises his hands. Look, I assure you that you want absolutely no part in what's in this box. The God's Damned Blade has a curse on it. It's made an absolute mess of our ship. Ruined the two of my coats. Renetti shakes his head. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Well, perhaps on my worst enemy. He chuckles, brushing a knuckle across his chin. And some of my more boorish friends. Uh, that might provide an evening's amusement. <laughs> if you don't hand over the damn box, I'm going to get the lot of you. Ack, fine. Since you've made friends among the Principi. He frowns, tapping his chin. Here. For the chest. He hands you a small rusky. I hope you own an extensive wardrobe. Puke stabber. What? Okay, what's epic hangover? 75% chance to vomit every 12 seconds while hungover. Negative 1 to all power levels while hungover. 
and mean drunk. 20% action speed with dagger attacks, 20% melee damage with dagger attacks. Damn. That's only when we're drunk, though. We lack the things to make this better, but I don't think that I want to use Puke Stabber. Well. I don't want the chest, I want to explore. What the hell? Why can't I not do anything but the chest? Of course. Well, well that's really to... weird. Okay, well, let's just leave because there's nothing else here. Uh. Group members? Hey. Oh. Weird. Now it works fine. What is it? That was an interesting little bug. Maya and Takei, who have leveled up as well. We'll quickly check around then since we're here. You must gather. Alright, let's get out of here. We're almost out of time on this video. We'll go to the Ruin Tower. Your party before venturing forth. And we'll go into the Ruins of Amira's Roost. We got Spawrite Scrimoire, Potion, Silver Lush, Potion, Scroll of Ray of Fire, and we're done. I can't remember if we've gone to the Ruins of Amira's Roost. I'm fairly certain we have, though. We return to the ruins, we're going back inside. I just want to quickly check if we've finished it or not. We have not finished this place. Why did we not finish this place? Was it too hard? Oh yeah, I think we got destroyed in here, as I'll I recall. We have a couple more minutes on this video, let's just do it up. You can't have it. It's mine. Oh right, the mine. crazy witch. Give me the book. I don't care about your conversation. Uh, let's just go back into the hallway. Our skeleton will hold him off for a minute. Alright, here we go. Let's go kill Leofwin. I think we might have overleveled this area a teensy bit. You know what? I'm just gonna disengage from this guy and come after the voice here. Stupid spellcasters, get out of my way. And that's pretty much it. We again out leveled this area a long time ago, probably. What did we get? Nothing exciting, actually. Why are we on fast mode? Hey. Oh, there's another steel spine for Berserker here. Some skeleton scum. A dead skeleton scum now. And another voice here. So we can do something with the candles. Amira's Wing, it's a, a superb rod, which grants a bunch of abilities. We'll take a look at it in a moment. But first we have to look around this place a little bit more. There's an exceptional scepter in here, and a corpse. Of course. The water dripping down from above tastes like cold stone and moss. That's it? That's all there is here? Just that one fight? That's still kind of a disappointing thing. I don't see anything else. So I guess we are free and clear. I honestly thought there would be a little bit more in there. But I guess that was the end of our video anyways. We're at 29 minutes, so that's close enough. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. I'm not sure what we'll be doing next. Let's take a look. We've already finished Harsh Medicine. Apparently they still want to know what happened to Songo, even though we already went there. Alright, we'll go back to the Royal Palace then, I guess. We rescued Barons. And, oh, we're just taking back to Songo as well. At Sura is someone we have to report to. And we're not going to do anything with the Loth. We have to kill Ernox. We're running out of quests. I really want to finish this Principy thing, but I guess not yet. 
So that's going to be it for now. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Take care.